Welcome back to The Witcher 3. This game has often been overwhelming to me at times, just because of the amount of things that you can do, the amount of controls, and kind of just the sheer amount of information that you have to keep in your mind at one time. And so coming back to this game after not having played it for six weeks or so has left me even more overwhelmed. But I've spent a good 20 to 30 minutes just refamiliarizing myself with the controls, and also resetting the controls, because for some reason, one of the patches that came out while I was not playing caused all of my settings to reset. So, thank you for that, CD Projekt Red. I, I, I love you so much for resetting all of my settings for no good reason. <coughs> but, uh, anyway, I think I'm barely competent enough to keep playing, so let's continue on and hope I don't get my ass completely kicked. So if you remember, which I wouldn't blame you if you don't, the last thing I was doing was going into this lair to pursue this contract for the Shrieker. So I'm going into this lair to find the Shrieker and vanquish it. And as you can see from these feathers, it seems to be quite large. And in fact, is it actually in my beast cherry? I don't remember. Mm, yeah, it is. Okay. I don't remember if I looked at what it's vulnerable to. So Okay, it's vulnerable to grape shot. I don't have that. Vulnerable to Ard, good to know, and Draconid Oil. Um, can I make Draconid Oil? Do I even have... Do I even have it in my list of oils to make? No, I don't. Alright, so that's not gonna happen. And bombs. Don't have the ingredients for Grape Shot. It was Grape Shot, right? Yeah, Grape Shot, but I don't have the ingredients, so... Okay, yep, nothing. I, I can't get the dragon Dragonite Oil, can't get the Grape Shot. I can use Ard, of course. But as always, I'm going to start out with Quen. Um, also, it looks really, really dark in here. So another thing I'm also going to do is take Cat. Which I think I just very recently got, and I don't think I've even used it yet. But let's take a Cat Potion, which will allow me to see in the dark. For like four minutes or so, I think. There we go. Alright, let's get the Swallow back in there. So yeah, I have Thunderbolt and Swallow. Thunderbolt increases my damage, and Swallow will make me heal. Just gonna preemptively take out my sword. <laughs> Those are big footprints. This looks so strange. Why is this rock so so bright? Uh, it's got to be an effect of the cat potion, I guess. It's like there's sunlight pouring through it. Um, yeah, it, it looks really strange. I've woken it up. Or maybe not. It's definitely awake. Doesn't seem to know I'm here yet. Take this opportunity to loot a bunch of Florence. Oh god. Smoke it out, though. Drive the monster out of its lair with a Samum, Grape Shot, or Dancing Star Bomb. All right. Well, I've got the uh, the Samum. Damn it! It's not here. Must have fled through another exit. Got to nab it before it gets away. What? Huh? What do you mean? Wasn't it just right up there? Oh no, it's not. I thought that was just a ledge. It's actually, there's a ledge, but it also goes further back in there. Alright, chase it down. I shouldn't have taken so long. There it is. Oh Don't god, everything looks so time. weird with Cat. Please go away, Cat. Can I cancel the effect? Roach! Let's go! Get up. Alright, let's actually go ahead and switch back. Oh, oh god, don't hold it down. Switch back to my crossbow. Faster. It's gonna be like fighting the griffin, I'm assuming, or I might need to shoot it down to get it to actually come down. 
Nope, there it is. All right, well, um, I'll stick with, I'll stick with my crossbow. Quinn. Oh. Ow, 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 I'm bleeding. This thing is red, by the way. I'd just like to point out it is red, and this quest is for somebody significantly higher level than me, so I might be kinda screwed. Yeah, I'm not doing much damage. Wait a minute, um... Crossbow. It didn't work! Again. I missed. Again. I missed. There we go. Oh, terrible timing. I'm doing some damage, but god, not much. All right, let me uh, let me take my swallow. I need to heal. I'm gonna art it as soon as it comes for me. Missed. Wonderful. I can't wait for this cat to go away. It's really throwing me off. Jesus. Jesus, its attacks are so wide. Come on. More swallow. It's okay, Roach, calm down. Wait, does Swallow not do it? I think it does. No, no, it does. It heals me. It was just the poison that was hurting me. I, I pressed the wrong key. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. I can see color again. More swallow. I've got to stay away from it the entire time for the duration of the swallow because I need to heal. And if you get hit, the healing stops. This is... I don't, I don't think I can do this. Do one hit and then I, I get hit. I can't last. It's so hard to get around it. It turns so fast and its wing attacks just go so far back. Jesus. Not bad. No, pr pretty bad. I'm almost dead. Um, hold on. Do I have like food I can shove in my face? Because that will heal me. All right, I'm gonna eat shit tons of. I'm gonna eat shit tons of bread and baked apples. And water, lots of water, lots and lots of water. It's important to stay hydrated. Remember that. My God, it is terrible. You know, one thing I don't know about this game is whether there's such a thing as invincibility frames.
If so, I certainly haven't found the right frames in which I'm invincible. Nope, I, I don't think there are. Because I just dodged it like the perfect time, I think, and it didn't work. Oh no. Oh no! Oh. I mean, I can do this. It's below half health. Fuck. I need to start taking my, uh, my other potion. That gives me more damage. Oh, you just keep, keep taking. Bob just hit it! Alright, let's take it. Hold, hold on. Let's do it right now. Let's put in my potion that makes me do more damage. Yeah, the other one increases my stamina regeneration. I don't... Uh, nah. I'm not gonna do that. Alright. more damage. Ow. I'm doing way more damage. Okay, this is good. Yeah, I just need to keep using Thunderbolt. I just, I'm just gonna back off until my Quen comes back. Safety strats. I've, I've got to do it. Let's uh, heal some more. Yeah, eat that raw meat, Carol. Had a full banquet during this fight. Jesus. I'm gonna wait for my Quen to come back and then chug a thunderbolt and then go in. All right, Quen. <laughs> Great. There goes my Quen. Whatever. Oh, and of course you go up in the air as soon as I chug my thunderbolt. Wonderful. Oh Jesus! I, I definitely didn't didn't do a great job with that fight, but it was also very difficult because it's um, what, what was it? I think it was a level ten, and I am level five. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, that was what like a ten minute fight. Jesus. All right, so the shrieker is a cockatrice. Relic, relic, relic. I got its stomach. Yay! Mutagen. I don't remember what those do. Whew. Oh, you know what? Okay, Roach. <clears throat> Roach had like a weird white glowy thing around its face. I don't know what that meant. Maybe that meant it was scared. Um, anyway, I need to meditate so I get all my stuff back. Alright, and let's get rid of the raw meat from my quick use slot, because I don't really need that right now. Well, let's put back in the swallow. Okay, let's go turn this in. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I swear I just saw motion blur. Did motion blur get re-enabled? Motion blur on. Ew. Off. Gross. There we go. Take it easy. 
Yeah, since resetting my settings, I've also turned them down so that I get so that everything's smoother. Um, but unfortunately, it does mean the game does not look as good as you might be able to notice. Really, the most noticeable thing is just vegetation popping. But I, I think it's worth it for the smoother gameplay. All right, who else is racing? Excuse me. Excuse me. Yep, yeah, come on, Roach. Horses. Horses don't like bridges, apparently. Greetings. Yeah? Shrieker won't trouble you anymore. Thank you, Master Witcher. Your reward... Ain't much, but as they say, take care of the pennies. Don't worry, I'll feed them every day. Uh, keep the coin for Simcoe. That's the kid, right? Simcoe? The traumatized one? Hmm. I mean, letting him keep it would be nice. At the same time, I'm perfectly justified in getting the reward that we agreed upon. Um, do I play Mr. Nice Witcher? I guess I'll be Mr. Nice Witcher. Keep the coin. You took in an orphan. Need it more than I do. And they call witches unfeeling. Inhuman. Well, I thank ye. From the bottom of my heart. It matter where the grub's from? Long as the bowl's full. Not my fault we ended six feet on the bridges. Okay, where to next? Well, I just did a quest. And as you might know, I don't like to do too many quests back to back because I like to go on adventures. Look at all of these unexplored question marks. Yes, 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 yes. Where shall I go? So I know I've explored up here already. This is, I, I think that's the only part of this massive, massive place I've explored. It's just this little finger up here. So anywhere else we'll have more adventures. Um, let's check out this place, huh? Yeah, sounds good. Actually, wait. Notice board. Does that mean there's new notices? Maybe we should go there first. Get up. After what you've done for us, you've got a friend in me. Got some new things. I will take that and that and that and that and that and that. All right, let's see what new quests I actually have. Got a new contract. And looks like that's it. Okay, those are slightly too high level for me right now. So, yeah, uh, let's not do those. Yeah. I think there was a racing quest, wasn't there? Yeah. I want to see where that is, actually. Let's see if that's near question marks, maybe, so I can perhaps do them at the same time. Come back here, Roach. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Uh, open sesame. Ard away. <laughs> Balls. After what you've done for us. Seems like you have to run into the doors with your horse to make them actually open. No, don't close! <gasps> Go! Oh. Fine. Back up and run into them. R run! It. There we go. Yeah, it's really weird the way doors work with horses. Light. 
Need a swift kick in the arse. No thanks, I'm good. Alright, so let's see what this race is. Yeah, it's right there. That's pretty close. Let's just go do it. I don't know if my horse has been upgraded enough to actually be able to win a race, but we'll see. Can we talk? Aye. As long as it's short and to the point, because I don't wag me tongue for jollies. They call me Radko. I arrange the horse races here. You must have heard talk. Wanna try? Say the word. Don't sod off. You seem like a prick. Let's talk more. Wanna sign up? Don't need no signing. Long as you're here, come sunset. And bring gold for the betting. Well, check and... Check. Ah, finally here. Rules are simple. Choose who you're gonna run against, make your wager, then ride to Black Bow and back. First the winner, second's a bleeding cunt. Got it? So, who are you gonna race? Stuttering m, -m, -m matko Iron Arse Hands, or Black Bogdan? Uh, I feel like this is a bad idea, and I'm getting in over my head. Stuttering Matko? Uh, let's bet the maximum. Let's go I'll all take in. Stuttering Matt. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll s s say, I I I'll b b b b b ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> Come on, let's Poor set the guy. and get racing. Oh my god. That's like the worst stutter I've ever heard. That was a really bad stutter. All right. And we're off. Oh god. Don't get stuck on stuff right now. I've left the track. Wait, what? Oh my god, no! That, what? I followed my GPS? Wasn't this where it told me to go? Fuck me. Maybe I shouldn't look at my GPS. Alright, I'm not too far behind. Just gotta wait for my stamina to come back. So Slow easy. Whoa. Nice, nice. You seem to know horses as well as you do monsters. Here's your gold. And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. All right. Who else is racing? Hmm. Got fifty crowns. Not bad. Oh, you're on my horse. Racing saddle. Ooh. Won't tire as easily. Uh, 40 stamina versus... Versus 25. Oh, that's a lot better. Well, in that case... You know what? Let's actually race again. Want to try the new saddle. So, what'll it be? Gonna race or not? Wanna sign up? Don't need no... Good day, grey one. So, who are you gonna race? Let's see how that iron ass holds up. Come on, hands. I sounded very sexual. Spent half me life on horseback. Other half on the backs of ponies. You can't beat me. Come on. Why is his face so dirty? Get racing. And we're off. Alright, forget my GPS. I'm just going to follow the track and the flags. This new saddle's amazing. That didn't go so well. Yeah! 
Uh-oh. No! Oh, they won, didn't they? Whoa! Unearthly witcher senses. They prattle on about them. Yeah, you just got yeah, out. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see how this game is played. This, uh, this is uh, this is crap. I'm sorry. This is crap. I don't know if you saw what happened, but it seems like there's kind of an auto difficulty thing where, like, if if you slow down, the other person also kind of slows down. And so the fact that I used the other person kind of slows down when you slow down, but they don't slow down as much. So the fact that I used up all of my stamina continuously, right up until like the last five or ten seconds of the race means that I started slowing down right near the end of the race which means they started slowing down but not as much and took the lead and so like the time when my stamina run out ran out didn't sync well with the auto adjusting difficulty of the AI racer uh, AI racers so to game that system basically you have to stop using all your stamina like halfway through the race and then let it regenerate and then do it again so that you're actually sprinting when you go across the finish line yeah, no, that's silly. I'm not going to do any more races. Forget that. Question mark time. And in the direction of the question mark, there's actually somebody with a quest, apparently. Boy, sweet boy! Have mercy! Take pity on him! Why help an old, feeble woman? What's wrong? To their night blasphemers, pox take and profane the shrine to Verna the Merciful. Shrine's gotta be repaired, else Verna will take umbrage. Her cows will croak, and kitties will be covered in warts, and our dogs will get the mange. You know, she said take pity on an old woman, and she does have gray hair, but she really doesn't look that old, honestly. Her face looks like maybe late 30s. Uh, but anyway, of course I'll help you. Warts and mange? Sounds dangerous. <laughs> Fine, I'll help you. Geralt seems displeased. Done. The good gods have sent ye to me. Someone to repair their shrines from this day on. Look, already got a trade. I'm a witcher. Restoring traditional roadside structures in wood? Just not my specialty. Fight evil! That's a witcher's calling! And vandals are worse than beasts! Fine. I see any damaged shrines? I'll take care of them. Won't go out of my way, though. Nothing's out of the way in these parts. And the gods will guide ye. You look awful. I was wondering if it was actually a quest. Looks like it is. Fix all the damaged shrines. Where are they? One over there. And another one down there. Okay. Well, I'll do that quest if I'm in the area. But not right now. Also, let me check real, check real quick and make sure that my texture quality is maxed. Because that should be maxed. Texture quality high. No. Ultra. Ultra. Because from testing I did and stuff I looked at, I believe texture quality, setting it to ultra, doesn't really negatively affect performance in any significant way. So you might as well. Run, Roach. At least in my case. I'm, obviously it depends on the card and how much memory you have. Wolves? Wolves. A lot of wolves. Like, a million, million wolves. So many wolves, I'm not gonna stop. Don't stop. Wolves. Alright, now I'll stop. Um, I'll take them on if I can get them in relatively small groups. Oh, that's a wild dog. That's not a wolf. Oh, I 
don't feel good killing wild dogs. I'm sorry, pooches. They're like level one. Alright, this is what I came for. Jesus, there's a lot of them. Um... Hmm. Let's try starting with a bomb. Actually, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. How do I cancel the throw? Uh... Well, that didn't cancel the throw. What I meant to do is look at the bestiary. To see if I can make it oil that there actually um, will be damaged by necrophage oil. Oh, I've already got necrophage oil. Well, let me see if I can apply the oil before the bomb hits the ground. <laughs> Where are you? Apple juice. That's not oil. Uh... Where is it? Wouldn't it be here? Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's go. That didn't do anything, literally. Alright, do it again. Take some potions. Kind of fumbled with the controls a little bit there, but it ended up working out. Cavalry trousers. Could be better than what I have. A note. Um, hmm, it's not a quest item though, so I guess it's not important. Oh, more armor. Rune stones. Anything I missed? Yes, you. Sodden note. Yeah, they're not quest items, but I definitely can read them, so let's see what's going on with them. And also, let's check the, uh... Check the armor, too. Looks like that's better than what I currently have on. By a little bit. Yeah. Put that on. Also slightly better. Put that on. Alright, check out the note. Highwayman's notes. And they say crime doesn't pay. <laughs> Never heard greater fucking rubbish in my life. It pays like fucking mad. We took so much loot from that old saw that we won't drink it all that we won't drink it all up in a year's time. Not even if we down Mahakaman spirit like it's water and chase it with dry white from the Buclair? Some might blather nonsense about the gods punishing us and whatnot, but I'm too old to believe in fairy tales. Well, next up, Novigrad. We'll sell what we took and live like kings. Well, that didn't work, because they're dead. <laughs> Sodden note. Dear Vessi, We couldn't afford to pay for ourselves and Patrick, so we've sent the young lad to you. I know things are tough your way, too, that you've three tykes of your own, so know that if I didn't have to, I'd not ask this of you. But here in Velen, well, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Please care for Patrick like your own son, 
We'll come back for him soon as the war is over. A thousand thanks. Hannah. P.S. Patrick's got a sack of coins in his bags. Enough to pay his guide what we agreed on. You shouldn't have to add anything of your own. P.P.S. Patrick's afraid of the dark. If you can, leave a candle burning by his bed. Wait a minute. So, wait. Is that Patrick right there? That's pa that's a fucking kid, isn't it? That's Patrick. Ugh. Ugh. Poor Patrick. Alright, to the next question mark. Actually, before the question mark, I want to know what's here. There's a building here, but there's no no Let's question go. mark on it. Or <laughs> question mark, sorry, exclamation mark. No, it is a question mark. I'm losing my mind. Oh, quest. Be gone. Reaper's the only one of you. What did this man do to you? Him? Nothing. Appeared in the village. Looking to trade his ring for some bread. But we've no food. None. Because of the black ones. Trampled our fields, raided our granaries, burnt our orchards. So instead of bread, he'll get a noose. Please, good folk, do you not have ears? I did not want this war. I have deserted to go home to my wife and child. Take everything I have, but spare my life! Let this poor man go. I mean, he might be lying and maybe he's not a poor man, but... Jesus. Let him go. Oh, sure. And maybe give him some fixings for the journey? Saddle up a horse for him? Black One showed us no mercy. We show them none in return. Tried it the nice way. Gotta try something different. And now I'm gonna kill like four people to save one. Yeah. Justice. Well, honestly, it might be justice. Like, just because I'm killing more people than I'm saving doesn't necessarily mean it's wrong, but it is kind of weird. Alright, I'm doing really poorly. Let's try blocking. Yeah, I did really badly there. Alright, let's try my timing. Whoa, there we go. Yep. I'm gonna keep practicing my timing. There we go. Still got it. There we go. Still got it. Still got it. Not bad. Not bad. Thank you. If you had not come. If I'd not come, only one man would have died. Exactly. Really going back to your wife? Yes. She bore a child just before the war started. A girl. I named her Beatrice after her grandmother. Why? Why did you help me? Lynch mobs. Nothing good ever comes of them. Now go. Stay off the high roads and give any villages a wide berth until you cross the Aruga. I 
I hope I did the right thing there. Alright, let's continue on to this building. Wait a minute, is that... What was that? Barber. Wait, there's just like a barber out in the woods? Sweet. I'm down. Wait, new marker, hidden treasure. <gasps> God, this game just dangles shiny keys in front of my face at every opportunity. Ew. That body's been there for a while. Sunken treasure. Uh, where is it? It's a quest item, right? Yeah. Mulk. I know you don't smuggle no more. That you set aside plenty of coin and ain't interested in the risk. Just want to enjoy time with your wife and kiddies. But I gotta ask you for a favor. We gotta move one more load. And it's the last, I promise. It's a simple job. Couple of chests. Risk's minimal and the reward's substantial. Please, do it. If not for the gold, then at least for old time's sake. Bert. Find the sunken treasure using your Witcher senses. Oh god, there's stuff down there. There's drowners. Here we go. Um, actually, you know what? I can't use abilities while I'm in the water, so actually, before getting in the water, I'm gonna use Quen. I don't know if it continues to work after you get in the water, but let's hope. Loot fast, cavalry boots, smoking pipe, whatever that is. Run! Get to the surface, run faster! Quick! Quick! Ow! Okay, ooh, the Quinn actually did work. Yeah, so use Quinn before you jump in the water. Pro tip. I don't even know what I found. I saw boots and then, like, a rune or something. There's one other thing, I think. Yeah, I, I don't know what it was. I wish you could look at, like, a list of things you just picked up. I know new items are marked with a little asterisk, but that shows me stuff even from a long time ago. Yeah, so I picked up some boots. I guess these, which aren't very good. And then I guess a rune or something. Sun's coming up. Beautiful. Abandon in sight. Oh, there's some enemies here. Pirates. Yar. Not your lucky day. All right, you need to die. I gotta take this guy out because he's got like no health. Alright. Missed time my parry there. Let's keep testing out my parry timing. Come on. There we go. Ugh. 
uh, who are these people? Oh, right, I've just reestablished an abandoned site. I forgot you can do that. It's like, who are these strangers? Word travels fast, I guess. Any loot inside? Mm -hmm. mm, looks like one of my swords needs to be repaired. Just picked up a letter, should read that in a second. I've liberated this area and now I've stolen from it. You're welcome. Uh, is it a quest item? Oh, there it is. Baby brother. I got your letter. The children are healthy. Thank you. Little Rackleth's not so little anymore. He's almost tall as my shoulder. Gets sweet as ever. But enough small talk. I'm so glad you're able to return to your own home. I'm worried, though. Are you sure those pirates have gone away for good? Best to have eyes in the back of your head, and don't burn any lights at night, so that no one cruising the coast can spy you. You're Lessica. Oh. I feel like half the notes I read are about people dying. Or at least involve people dying. Because obviously that person is now dead. They used to live here and then pirates came in and killed them and took everything. Hmm. <sighs> Ooh. Some shipwrecked boats over there. Are they marked on the map? They're not yet, but I'm certainly going to go check them out. Let's meditate for a bit. Get my health back. Let's save the game. And let's end the episode admiring this sunset. Or, well, sunrise, rather. But really, what's the difference? Oh, wait, you mean they're actually really different? Well, whatever. Let's admire it anyway. So, thank you for watching, and I'll be back soon.